we look at a 30-year-old lady comes with a history of headache, profuse sweating, amenorrhea, joint pains, and this is the the main feature here associated with changes in size of hands and feet. She also complains of sudden weakness when carrying uh, carrying something uh, uh, upstairs. Going upstairs is also an issue. Physical examination gives you the main point here, marked enlargement of facial features, as well as tongue, feet, and hands. Okay, thyroid enlargement is there as well. An ultrasound study shows fatty liver, lab, lab, labs reveal high blood glucose level, okay? We asked you the diagnosis, the cause for fatty liver, and the effect of this hormone, whichever it may be, on carbohydrate and fat metabolism. It's a straightforward endocrinology stock question. Uh, the key is long, that's why it's on, the, on another slide. And it's pretty straightforward. It's uh, recall based, so there's no, nothing much to explain. Diagnosis obviously is acromegaly, growth hormone excess um, is mobilizes fats, uh, increases uh, LDN receptors in the liver. That is what causes fatty liver. Okay, so that's answer to the B. Uh, C is effect of growth hormone on carbohydrates and on fat. This is pretty straightforward thing. Let me just uh, quickly go through it. On carbohydrates, it increases glucose uptake in tissues increase in insulin resistance, decrease uptake of glucose by liver, and so on. And fat, you can see release of fats from adipose tissue, uses fats for energy in preference to carbohydrates and proteins, increases lean body mass and causes a ketogenic effect, which is a hallmark of growth hormone. 